Hey guys, my name is Amora, and we're back with Hellblade Part 4. The last place we left off was this dreamlike sequence with Dillian and Senua, and we also had our first run-in with Hela. So, let's get back into it. The tome. Isn't it? It's not active. Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured and Sigir has them buried alive. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Bro, she slept with her brother to reduce. Incest is relative. Well, in this case, absolutely relative. What is this? Sword. A sword. Take it. Tell him left it for you. Take it. Take it. Come on. What is going on here? Okay, so these stones did activate. Okay. What's happening? Senua, imagine a sword that can slay gods. <laughs> its name is Gramra. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need a sword. It's important. The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said the great warrior can reforge Gramr by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. Find it. There it is. Focus. king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king. 
Let me tell you about the sword Tierving. I don't recognize this thing. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Oh. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. I'm like in another place. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. They go in here. You can feel the dead. So go in. Go in. You have to go in. Take the torch. Yes, take the torch, please. It's too dark. this way there he is there he is Dillian there he is finally we found him what's wrong what happened can you hear me yes just wait there I'll find you how do I get over here I can't even run. I have to walk everywhere. I cannot see a thing. Oh my god. I can't see a single damn thing. So it's this way. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. She has to let go of the dead. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Go down here. I can hear him. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires, as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. When I lit this torch, that over there lit up. So I think this loop that loops me, which I didn't, uh, I didn't actually say when I first lit them. Listen, 
Like, okay, look at the left. Oh, that scared me. Okay, so... This way? I think this is it. Is it? It sounds like it's coming from here, though. I don't know who to believe. Secret room? How do you get in there? Shh. That voice. It's not Dillian. Don't worry, there's no reason. Don't stop now. Don't give up now. Find a way. You're too close to stop. In there. Find another way. It's not working. You have to. Do you go this way? <gasps> I screwed it up. Demonic voice. It's fine. It's not fine, but it has to be, right? We're supposed to face our fears. Yeah, I don't like that idea. I think we can just like not do that. That'd be pretty good. Oh, girl, you're bold. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? Chief, that's a... No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No, boy. Is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the- <gasps> Come, child, take my hand. Come. No, fuck him up. No. Yes. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Good for her, honestly. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Go on. 
Dude, what a oh, what a butt. I'm gonna go into the other world. The Northmen say that their old father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Okay. Here. Can't you see me? Help. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. The breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet, so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I can hear something. I can't go on. Julian? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. Where there's fire, there's air, right? I think I'm somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? The water. Good. I just reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. Okay. Following it. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Senor. My father. He taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. That to me in warrior trials. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't so bad. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. We need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. I know what you're thinking. He's not really here. Seems there's no escaping the past in this place. 
These are like the Bell Robin ones. The statues. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. Damn, that's a long drop. Ew, what is that? There's something in here. Do you see it? No. Then it cannot see you. Quietly move past it. One step at a time. Jesus here. I think I have to go around it. As long as I don't bump into anything, right? I should be okay. It's not following. Bless Dillian, honestly. He is so kind and so gentle with Senua. I'm supposed to cross without touching them, right? How am I supposed to do that? There's more of them. I think they're moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. This is the sound of your breath. In and out. In and out. What is this trial, man? They're coming towards me. It almost didn't see that it was coming at me. Darkness is testing you. You are in control. Oh, hell no. I have to be on a balance beam? In the dark? When I can't see? Oh! No. Don't, don't, don't you tumble, I swear to God. A well. There's a well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. <laughs> Did you? Help me.
We can do this, Senua. Hang in there. Man, this is a lot of disturbing things all at once. Can I run? Spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Are we in a memory now? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes back, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. And I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. They're so good for each other. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It just comes in steps. You've been fooled before, you could be fooled again. So have I done this before? Weren't there only three? I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northland called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. Hmm. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Oh. Where are we now? Push this down. What does it see? You want to see what the mask sees? No, she doesn't. No. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. It's another world. It's lighter. Where are we? Let's cross it. Can I open this door? Or is it locked from the other side? Yeah. Locked from the other side. What's this? Hmm. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night. Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. 
So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. I swear on I'm gonna... What I needed to do here is done. I have to go look back through the mask. Because I think those doors aren't there in this other world. Or realm. Whatever you want to call it. Yep. seems so simple black and white darkness and light open this door narrow dividing lines of our own making Dillian taught her to see further to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom Senno explored new paths into the unknown okay Maybe there's something I can do to... I need to go back into the dark world. You can't go up you there. Can't go up Not there. in this world. No. I probably have to go up even further for that rune, don't I? What is that? Do you remember, do you remember the sound of The gods it? feast and rejoice. And amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Is it like in the shadows? Oh. There 
is a way up there. She can us. If you're nearly there, she can find the way. Yeah. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Hud, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Hud says, I cannot see where Balder stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand, I will tell you where he stands. And Hud throws the mistletoe at Balder. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. Elves in the land of dark, and Dillian and Co. A future. Two realities tearing at her soul. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Balder. His body was to be burnt on his ship. But they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Balder's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Balder's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband and the pile is over lit, here. sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Is it in the shadows again? Oh, here. He didn't believe that she was cursed. He said a way. Everyone else turned their backs. This way. Okay. We go back up. Z is here as well? Oh. But reversed. Hmm. Do I go around for this? I think I do. Overcome with grief. The gods send Hermod to ride to hell I'm and ask alone. Hela to let Balder return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Balder stays with me. Mm. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Balder. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Balder was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. Okay, let's see if going around will help me this time.
which it should, I can pull down this bridge. Now I need to go back to the golden world. And I can look on that s sigil rune. Whatever it's called. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Did I read this? I don't think I did. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. So I can go down, I can go back down and open this door, right? Oh boy, here we go! I'm also like magically not hurt anymore. <laughs> Man, not the balance beam again. Delian! He's beckoning me. Delian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the druids like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. <laughs> And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. And had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. There we go. You can't miss the path. Don't let him slip away. It's a narrow, narrow bridge. Good. And there's a long way to fall. <gasps> Why is he jumping? <gasps> oh my god, man. Oh, wait a minute. Who's this? Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark here means the littlest word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I'm not. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. 
could have made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking them from the inside. You're disappearing one memory. We have Every one more. You remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories. What is that? They want your mind and they're going to take it. The memories were yours. Why is it so bright back there? Nothing is yours okay. I think it was just a visual. Ugh. Don't grungo spin me, man. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What is this place? It's creepy. It feels wrong. Strange. Okay. I'm dead. Oh, I can't breathe. Can you smell the death? Oh, it's ah, uh, it's too much. Turn it back. There he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going it. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Delian will help me. Just one more test to do it. Is there? You could almost reach it. You could almost see it. That's something? No, it's not. spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. When they knew that she was not like that. The bridge. It's broken. Fix it. You have to fix it. Are we going to fix that? I did. I get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the I have to get to higher ground, I think. I don't think I can jump that. As cool as it would be. The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. Perfect. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hand, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. It's not the end of it, because the dead return. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death. Oh no! I need to fix this bridge, but I need to do it from up there. She did it. 
They're lit up now. They weren't lit up before, were they? Alright, with the bridge fixed, I should be able to go into that house, right? I was hoping there would be something over here, since they let me travel to it, but no. On this side? Nope. Genoa! Come to me! Where are you? I'm here! I'm right here! Are you in there? Find him. Come out into the Find him. The runes. Focus. Oh. Dillian! Uh oh. They're coming for me! What's that noise? You can hear Dillian. It's Dillian. Go to him. Dillian, go to him. He's trying to. Oh! I'm supposed to find it's close, it's close. Move away, Sarah, move away. I feel it. You'll die. I feel it. You'll die. The gun, the gun, run, run, run now. Don't let it see it. Is. Go towards it. Run, 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 focus. James, where are they? Where's Teddy? Where are you? Don't let it see it. 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 Where is he? This is taking What shall I do? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, to find one more. One more. This one. You've got them. Where's the door? To find a way out. Find the gate. And I just need to find the gate, right? Look at you. Don't let it see you. It's coming. Move away. You're lost again. Oh no. No way. Come on, man. No way. It kills me. Are you kidding me? Ain't no way! Shano! Shano! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are, like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, this darkness has 
right in the midst of it. You've done it. The warrior trials. Well. That's great. You will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And the sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials. And she saw a way out. To leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. But years later. With Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. Plague. Dillian? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood on your hands. Where are we now? They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Oh, cool. I get to fight. Oh shit. The sea of corpses. The corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. All right. your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward because you ran from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on your father, Zinbel, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Shit. Can't hear the voices talking to me.
can't parry him. Man, yeah, he's fuck. <gasps> no, Yikes. Thanks, dog. The multiple enemies is just really hard. God, not this guy again. Yoshi. I messed up my rhythm. Shield guys, man. No one likes them. Who is it? Galena. Where are you? Do you hear Am I supposed to go this way? Voice of your mother, Galena. She calls for you, Senoa. Go to her. Answer her pitiful call. I don't know where. Where do I go? Darkness took her life, and it will take. This way? <coughs> I think I made myself nervous. Not this way. Of the voices. I have the hiccups. I think I made myself nervous. Fights are so hard. I need you. Help me. You're You're dead. You both surrendered to the noise. And your dear the beloved mother was powerless against the darkness when it came before her. She too had 
the sight, she too doubted the gods and let the darkness infest her. I can't run. She escaped the only way she knew how. She gave her life to the gods. If only you had done the same, the world would have been spared this horror. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? I think the the demonic voice is Val Ravin, but I could be wrong. I think he's playing tricks on her still. Dude, I haven't even like gotten very far in the game already and my curse is already up to my shoulder. It's all the way up my arm. What are you- <gasps> What the f- What the- What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Alright, fine. <gasps> he can still fight me in this. No, I try to dodge that. Try to dodge. Fuck me, man. God damn. So many, man. There's so many. This bitch again. I just have to evade this bitch. What the fuck? This bitch doesn't die. guys Fuck. he's on my left how the fuck <laughs> am I not targeting this guy I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, they gave me a handicap here. The darkness has taken you. Galena and Sinwa. Galena and Sinwa. 
I have my difficulty on auto. They might have just pushed it to easy after I failed twice. Well, <clears throat> maybe there was like some hidden checkpoint that I don't know about when you fight those guys. Oh, that's a face. It's a person. I'm climbing up somebody's body. I can't fight it anymore. Not on my own. That night, she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother, to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. Who's that? Senua. Look at me. Calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimba was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. The sword, it was not worth it. A little hope. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. Look at the, all the damage that I've done. Look at all the damage I've done. It's not worth it. I've got what, maybe like two, three hits left before I'm dead? Not worth it. It wasn't worth it.